Okay, guys, we're uh, here at Western Tech in our motorcycle and power sports division. We're going to, uh, previously we showed you how to remove the flywheel a couple different ways. Now we're going to show you how to properly torque the flywheel um, using the proper procedures uh, as shown in the manual. A lot of people, Al, you want to go ahead and hold the impact up? A lot of people simply just take the impact and they just zip it on until it tight's tight and call it a day. That's not the right way to do it. Per the service manual, what specification did we find, guys? 55 foot-pounds. So they're going to demonstrate real quickly here how to properly install it. We have this tool, Cyrus won't hold that up, called a strap wrench. He's going to go ahead and install that now. Now what we have to do is we have to, hold, we have to support and wrap this in the correct direction opposite of what the other guy's going to use to uh, actually be able to put the torque wrench on there. So he's got the nut in place there. Some flywheels may require Loctite. We're removing and, and taking this on and off several times so we're not putting any Loctite on it. Check your service manual to find out. I'm going to kind of walk around here and show you and have Alan kind of point at some of the areas that we're concerned about the strap wrench coming in contact with on like these studs and bosses. So as he's got that tool wrapped around and you can see basically the head of the tool. We point at that with your thumb there, Cyrus. Yeah, or right there, guys. What we're doing is we want to make sure as we wrap that we're not going to bend any metal guards, any housings, any shrouds or anything else. So his, his main function is to basically support the flywheel so that Al can go ahead and torque this down. Now another thing we have is a snap-on digital torque wrench. You can go ahead and just unthread that battery compartment real quick. Just You don't have to take it all the way out. Just loose. Okay, now thread it back in. Okay, when you let it sit for a little bit, guys, that just has an automatic reset in there. We're going to torque this to 55 foot-pounds, so we want to do at least two steps, so we'll split that difference. What are we at right now? 31. Okay, so he's going to hold it. We're going to go ahead. Now, you may have seen in some of our other videos, we make a big deal about when you use the torque wrench to go ahead and support the socket and to make sure that this bend is not... I'm going to come from the side. Go ahead and tip the torque wrench down or up. We do not. We're going to alter the torque on that. So that torque wrench needs to be straight. And also, look at his placement. Do you see where his thumb is on the thumb lock there? You guys see that? He want to make sure that you're right in that spot so that we torque it properly. All right, you guys work together on this. Go ahead. Okay, you can hear, hopefully in that video, you can hear the buzzer on there. What Alan's actually getting is a vibration sensation through the wrench as well, uh, stating that he's got that done correctly. He's going to hit the up buttons here, pop it up now to 55 foot-pounds. Now, did it feel like that uh, flywheel was slipping on you there, Cyrus? Uh, yeah. If, if we get to the point where it continues to slip, then we just re-tighten the strap wrench by uh, remove, you know, pulling the angle back, pulling a little more strap through, and then refolding it over. So we'll go ahead and just try it first. Now you want to take that and push that as far over as you can. Now what we don't want is right here. We're on a boss. We're, we are definitely going to break that. So you're always got to be watching what's going on. Let's go ahead and look at that. It's all right. We're always in here practicing and you know, try, fail, adjust. So we need to get that up, or we need to move our flywheel, move your tool into a position where you're not on that. It's just, it's absolutely unacceptable to take a risk. If we folded that over, what would happen? We'd 100% break the case on this. So let's make sure we're looking at this. Are we 100% secure now on where we're at? Yeah. yeah. Cool. See how you move that out of the way? All right. Now you should just be holding the strap wrench here. We'll let, uh, let Ross there hold the motor. Now let's go ahead and try and go that 55 pounds. Be watching for any any contact that that strap wrench is going to come into. All right, we've torqued it. Let's look at the wrench. Okay, now we actually, what's cool about the digital torque wrench from Snap-on here is it tells the actual applied torque there. So we had 54.5 right at that point. He did a great job of not really over-torquing it and coming right into specification. Guys, that's how you properly torque a flywheel using the correct tools and not just grabbing the old impact and tights tight.